Ohm's law is one of the most important laws governing electrical and electronic technology. In this video, we'll look at what Ohm's law is, how it relates current, resistance and voltage together, and we'll take a look at how to do some of the calculations and try to make them easier, and then we'll move on to a few practical demonstrations. To start with, here's a little background. Ohm's law was discovered by a scientist called George Ohm, who lived in Germany. Although it was in 1826 when he first formulated the relationship we know today as Ohm's law, it wasn't until 1827 that he published the results of his work. Ohm's law states that the current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied potential difference and inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. This is quite a lot to take in on its own but it means that by doubling the voltage across a linear circuit such as a resistor, the current will also double. However, if the resistance is doubled, the current will fall by half. It's sometimes easier if we put this down as a simple formula. In the formula we'll see the potential difference or voltage V is measured in volts, the current I is in amps, and the resistance R is measured in ohms. V equals I times R. The simplest way of seeing how this works in real life is to use an example. Let's say we have a simple circuit that has a resistor of 100 ohms and there's a current of 0.1 amps flowing. And also in the circuit there's a voltage generator like a battery giving the potential difference to make the current flow. Can we calculate the voltage that's making the current flow in this circuit? Let's put the values into the equation. We can see that the voltage equals I, which is 0.1 amps, or 100 milliamps, times the resistance, which we know is 100 ohms. Voltage equals 0.1 times 100 equals 10, 10 volts. Using this equation, if we have any two values, we can discover the third. So not only can we say that V equals IR, but also, by manipulating the equation, we can see that R equals V upon I, and also I equals V upon R. It's quite easy to remember the simple equation V equals IR, and then do some simple manipulation each time we need it. Or alternatively, someone developed an easy way of remembering all of this. It's called the Ohm's Law Triangle. When using this, Simply highlight the value you want in some way or another, and look at the other variables. Let's see how this works. If we want voltage, highlight this, and it leaves I and R both at the bottom. As they are side by side, they are multiplied together. If the current I is needed, then highlight this one. As the two other letters are one above the other, then the top one is divided by the bottom one, in other words, V divided by R. Finally, if the resistance is needed, then this can be highlighted, and it leaves V at the top and I on the bottom row. So we have R is equal to V divided by I. Some people prefer to cover up the variable they want, so that only the two remaining known variables are seen. This is equally valid. It's really a matter of whatever works best for you. To have a look at how this works in practice, we can set up a simple circuit where we measure the potential difference across an unknown resistor and note the current that is flowing. Here's the actual setup, and although we've used two analogue multimeters, digital ones could be used just as well. We start by setting the potential difference to 2 volts, as measured by the larger multimeter, and then noting the current on the smaller one. Next, we increase the potential difference by 2 volts to 4 volts, and again note the current reading. We then make other readings at 6 volts, noting the reading, and then 8 volts, again noting the reading. We can plot these points on a graph with current on the vertical axis and voltage or potential difference on the horizontal axis. Here we prove that within an experimental error, all the points are on a straight line. The resistance, which is equal to V upon I, remains the same whatever the voltage. So let's work out the actual resistance in ohms for each measurement. 
There's obviously some error in the readings, as the metres were not the most accurate. But if we check the resistance on a digital multimeter, we see it measures the resistance as 181.6 or 7 ohms, which is actually very close to the results we obtained. In this video, we have only looked at what are called ohmic conductors and components. Their current voltage characteristic forms a straight line when plotted on a graph. However, there are other components that do not have a straight line characteristic. Their resistance actually changes with voltage, and these components are called non-ohmic. But to summarise, Ohm's law states that the current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied potential difference, and inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. And the equation for relating voltage, current and resistance is V equals I times R.